Hey guys, I'm gonna make a quick video to talk about a subject that people have been asking me about recently and this is a subject of how to follow up with a person who was not sure. Maybe you asked them on a scale from one to 10, where are you at? You know, 10 being you love this concept and are ready to get started, one being you hate it, it's not for you. And they tell you maybe they're an eight, but they didn't make a decision. How do you follow up? Okay, so two ways. Uh, first, let me explain a concept. There's a percentage of people that see this concept and no matter how good of a presentation they see, uh, they're not gonna do it. <laughs> and there's another percentage of people that no matter how bad of a presentation they see, they will connect with the idea and will do it. And there's another percentage of people, this is where you make your money, is people that are not sure. No matter what they saw, they're not sure and you're gonna have to follow up. Well, so there's two ways to follow up. Number one, use leverage. We talk about the term of, uh, of leverage using the top 10 sheet, right? But after somebody is ready to go and you have the app in hand, you call your friend who is not ready to go and you tell him, hey, Joe, uh, I know you just saw this concept yesterday, uh, but I have an app in my hand right now and I'm gonna put it in. I just wanted to give you the chance since you saw this concept first to, uh, to get your membership so I can put this person in your team since you saw it first. Are you ready to get started? Another way to say is, hey man, I got several apps coming in this week, and um, if you're ready to get started, I can put them on in your team, since you saw this concept first. You ready to get going? So you're using the sense of loss and the sense of urgency that we use with the top 10 sheet, which is very real, because you have a real application in your hand as leverage, number one. Number two way to uh, follow up, tell the, con the prospect that they need more info. If they saw the video, tell them, look, you need to see more information. You haven't seen anything yet, and you edify the speaker who's gonna do the presentation, a corporate or a travel party or whatever it is, okay? If, uh, if they've seen the presentation from a particular person, edify the next speaker and tell them, now you're gonna meet this guy. You need more information. You can also give them a particular video. Go under the testimonials um, under YouTube or on teamliftoff.com and look for a testimonial uh, that you think your prospect is gonna uh, identify with because they have the same background, etc. And you send them that link and you tell them, I want you to meet this person and they're gonna be at such and such a place and you edify them. That's it, man. You can also refer them to my YouTube channel and you can find for a, a, a testimonial there that they will relate to. If they have a question in particular that they need answered after uh, you, of course, introduce them to your expert so they can answer the question. But if they were not able to, send a link of that particular answer to them. That's a way to follow up, remind them that they need to see more. So if you combine those two aspects, seeing more information and using leverage, you will increase tremendously your closing ratio. All right, so get it, man. Let's follow up. Let's close them up.